You've got me saying words in my head Filling my mind with these images Hello and welcome back to my channel So today I'm going to be doing those coasters I bought from Timu Um... I just thought after doing a big paint, it'd be nice to do something little, you know, because I do normally only do big kits. So I thought, you know what, it's going to be nice to do a craft. I haven't done a diamond painting craft in ages. So, yeah, I thought that would be really nice to do and everything. So, yeah, and mum actually saw, like, I showed mum my Timu haul the other day. And yeah, she was like, oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. Oh, oh I want to get coasters now. Cause she's like, oh, I love how they come in little... Um, in the holder and everything because obviously i have got them other ones and i said to her Look, i've got these ones here if you want them no no i want the holes of gem i was like okay mum and everything she said i'm gonna have to do a timu order i've been looking at it and i was like i had to admit mum i am pretty impressed with timu you know um so yeah and something else that some people might not know when you do a timu order for so i think for 30 days after your order keep an eye on the prices uh, if you press request a like price adjustment or something, click on that and it will tell you if things have gone down or up in prices. So for me, I had, you know, it's not mega amounts, but it's a little bit. So I've got like a couple of quid now in difference in prices from the way I placed my order and like, so I've got, and you can either get a refund or you can just like have it in vouchers with timu so yeah i've got a couple of quid sat there for, for for nothing to use on my next order from timu so yeah i can't really complain about that really because you can actually like get a refund on the price difference if the price drops which i thought was really good actually so yeah a little something there for you guys a little bit of a tip so we are going to be doing these coasters so as you can see they come with the cork bottoms and they've come, and the cork bottoms are sticky, like so. Obviously, we'll put be putting them on last. We come to a stand to put our coasters in. I'll be putting that back in there for now. And we get our coasters and our diamond. Obviously, this one, this kit, you've not many colours with this one. Um, to be honest, I just like the black cat theme. I thought they were simple, but they have got some other like all different um color cats and stuff like that. You know, you there's like your tabby cat, your calico cats, and all that. So yeah, all we've got is two colors. So yeah, we don't have many colors at all, which is absolutely fine. So yeah, but lots of those two colors. So yeah, I should be more than all right with color wise. So yeah, we've only got black and like a clear. So yeah, not many colors at all, but that is absolutely fine because you know, I should be able to fly through this one. So our um, coasters, we've got, obviously they're all just gonna be black cats, just, di just different poses. It's got that one, that one, that one, that one that one that one and some people have said on my timu um video on boxing that they have bought the same coasters so yeah let me see yours when you're done because i'm really excited to um be doing these so yeah it's just all black black and white coasters which i thought would be nice and i plan on giving these to my local um cat rescue to auction off or whatever they feel like they want to do with them. I will say to them, don't send them on a car boot sale because um, I think they're worth more than a couple of quid they'll get a car boot sale. Yeah, I would like to see them like, get maybe a fiver for them or something, not just a couple of quid because obviously all the time I put into them and they did cost me about eight quid. So I would like to see them go for like, be sold for more than a couple of quid, preferably. I know obviously you can't, you can't judge on how much somebody buy stuff on but you know it would be nice to see them go for more than a couple of quid but yeah and the clear um the drill field is extremely clear really is nice if sure i am actually in yeah oh the drill field is really nice nice and clear can't mistake anything whatsoever so yeah really clear and the back is 
Okay, so we have one of that. I don't know if that's meant to be thing or not. So yeah, um, and um, these are made out of like a perspex type, um, like a plastic. So yeah, these should be really fun, and it shouldn't take them too long to do. So let's get cracking, shall we? Oh, my mind. Now my mind is blown. No surprise. Guess I should have known. Oh, my life. Now my mind is blown. No surprise. Guess I should have known. You got control of me. Break my barricades. Walls are crumbling. Grounds they shake. You came to save. But it's way too late. Every single time you stay, I cave Coaster. Um, I mean, I'll seal them and then I'll put the cork bottoms on last because I think that'll be best because I don't want to get varnish all over the cork bottoms. So yeah, that's what I'm. That's the plan anyway. That's personally how I'm going to do it. I'm going to get my plant pots sealed at the same time as well. So yeah. Um, What I've got coming up, um, um, trying to think, trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. I've got a week of work coming up, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, so I spend time with my nephews and go on days out and everything. And I can take my oldest nephew out for the day because, um, they always get the choice now. Um, they can either have a present or I take them, we, me and my husband take them out for the day. And they always get the choice every year. I say to them, do you want a present or do you want to go out for the day? And they always option, they always opt for the go out for the day. So yeah, I'm looking into what we can do with my nephew. My, my nephew. So yeah, um, we are going to do that with him. So yeah, he's, that should be really, really fun. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I um, don't know what I'm going to do yet. I've been looking into a few ideas. Um, I'm not sure yet though um, what to do. I know normally I hear like to go to like the arcades and all that. Down the local beach and pier and that. It just works out so expensive. I think last time we were in, I spent about 300 quid. So it was obviously not just him would play the arcades, I'll play the arcades, and my husband would play the arcades, which is not spending a small fortune. So we were end up doing <clears throat> something else. I'm debating like taking him down to a different seaside and take him on like the Pleasure Beach and all that. So I'm debating doing that actually. Or the other thing I'm thinking about is, you know, those big climbing things in the trees and all that? I think I'm maybe doing that with him. I don't think which one he would enjoy more. Um, but I know my husband wouldn't like to do the climbing trees because, like, he's scared of heights. I'm thinking maybe if we go to, like, Pleasure Beach, he might come on some rides with us. So that's that's something you know to discuss with him. But yeah, so we think so I've got to decide what to do with him. But yeah, that should be a fun day. If whatever whatever we do, you know, he's gonna have a blast, so either that or I was thinking about a rage room. 
So I know some people have never heard of a raid room before. And basically you go and like smash stuff up. Yeah. So basically you go to this place and you just go and smash stuff up. Which obviously sounds like a heck of a lot of fun. But yeah, that, that, that would be fun. You know, going and smashing up all those stuff. So yeah. One of them. I haven't decided which one yet. But yeah, definitely, definitely one of them. So, oh, that's what I feel I've narrowed it down to anyway. So, I was just to decide which one or what to do. So, like, I know they will all be fun. So, just in case you're trying to decide which one to do so yeah yeah either any of them you will absolutely love so just trying to decide which one and everything so yeah that will be fun but yeah um So yeah, it's at that time of year as well I start looking into the old advent calendars too. Um, I'm, there's a few, uh, obviously um, I, will, I don't feel like the Dynamite Club is so expensive. You know, that is super expensive. Um, I was looking into the diamond painting Dutchdown one. I think that's about £135. Which seems like a lot of money, but you get a full month. The Diamond Art Club, I think you only get like 12 days. So it's a case of like which one, which one. And there's another one I've seen as well. So. I've seen a couple, so it's a case of um, trying to. Talk. I'm gonna look into the catered one again this year because I did really enjoy the first one I unboxed. So, so if I can afford them, I will be getting a couple and everything. So, yeah. So that's our coaster done. So we're going to go and seal them now. Get that part done, and then um, we can get the um bottoms onto the coasters and then I can contact my local cat rescue and get them on get them sent off to them all right right so um I'm ready to steal and I've got my plant pots here that I've done for my local cat rescue too so I did actually do a video on these I've got that one And I've got that one. So yeah. I think they should be quite pleased with them. And obviously I've got me coasters to seal. So what we do is turn that over to the planer side. My cat's in here. What are you doing? What? What viscous? Yiscus, what are you doing? I know. If you're going to talk to me, at least make some noise. Yes, I know. Is mummy neglecting you? Hey? Is mummy neglecting you? Right, so let's get cracking, shall we? I need to get a pair of tweezers. What? But yeah, you've got about half an hour to ding dings, all right? Yep, you've got about half an hour. Oh yeah, and also, that's what I use, some varnish, it's just wood varnish, clear gloss. That is what I use on my everything, basically. Oh, 
I'm going to use a paintbrush and just Some people be thinking, oh, if it's going on all thing, it will dry clear. What I love about this varnish, and I have used it on plant pots and everything before, so I know it's water resistant. That all sit outside in the old garden. one or two it's just slightly not quite 100 dry but they're dry enough for me to put the cork backs on anyway so so all we've got to do is peel off the back like so and then just put them on the bottom like so and what I would suggest doing, just push them down like that. See where a bit of varnish is being tense, why? I'll wait until it's dried. Hence why I put the um, varnish on first before I did the corks. The bottoms. Like so. Then the next one. Easy. And the last one. And there we go. So they're all done now. What do you think? They don't have to be exactly perfect on the back because no one's going to see the bottom, are they? So, yeah. We've got that one. Pop them in. I'm going to pop the one with the varnish on the top. At the top, that one, as you can see, they kept their shine pretty well, too. That one, 
again get it shine pretty well that one again get to shine this one this one and this one at the top of that isn't sticky so i'll put that one there and then that one there because the top of that one's a little bit thicker so yeah that is our cat coasters done and that is how they look in the stand so there's plenty of room in the stand they're not too big for the stand or nothing so yeah i think they look really good i'm so pleased with how they turned out and hopefully 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 my local cat rescue is gonna love them that is what i hope and i'm really pleased with how they come out so yeah so that is a nice quick video for you guys to well i don't know how quick it is when i go to editing it's always like really really long when i go to edit <laughs> so that is it for this video um thank you ever so much for watching i really do appreciate it don't forget to give me a big thumbs up comment down below and if you haven't already please subscribe i really appreciate it thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you all next time bye everyone